Hey guys, welcome to learn visual effects with phenomenal creations. My name is VK and hope you all doing well. Today we do advanced tracking and matchmaking just using three buttons inside After Effects to create the most accurate tracking I've ever seen. It's an amazing method, coming up. What is going on? Hope you're excited because now we're inside After Effects and I'm gonna show you how you can track your scene very powerfully, very effective with just a couple of buttons. What am I talking about? Am I serious? Yes, I am. So let's go ahead and jump in straight in. Don't I don't wanna waste your time. So I just drag my my main footage to a new composition and let's start from there. So let's say I have here a non so complex scene where I just circle, um, I'm circulating my wall here, um, just outside my house. And as you can see here, there's a lot of information going on. I have scaling, I have rotation differences, I have positioning. So we need a very good track and the 2D tracker is not gonna do it. Uh, especially if I want to put elements onto the wall looking like it's sticking to it. I could use something like the, uh, the After Effects inbuilt 3D tracker, but it's not the most effective every time. It gives a lot of error messages and just doesn't see and recognize your footage as liable layers. So I'm going to show you a plugin that does this work for you easily with just three buttons and it never fails. Like 99% of the time never fails. So I'm talking about a plugin from Feita called Feyen. It's They're not so well known and they don't sponsor this video, but they wanted me to tell you about, uh, tell you guys about my honest opinions about it. So let's go. So go ahead and select Feyen from your effects and presets panel and check the link down in the description if you want yourself a 30 day trial. Go check it out. I will talk about this a bit more later. So I will just drag this on here and a pop-up in, in a window will appear to your screen. And it basically says that your footage has been recognized as a background layer for the tracking. It's very straightforward. And then what we go ahead and do and let's go ahead and click on add track. Simple as that. And then we have another pop-up window and there's three basic and base things you need to uh, to change and tell the the plugin what you want to track. The first one is the interval on what you want to track. Where does it start and where does it stop? For the easy of this tutorial, we'll keep it on like the first frame and the last frame of the video. Then the method. There's two kind of methods, and these are actual pretty cool methods. Um, one is rectangular, so that is basically used in my, like my case where you have perspectives. Uh, like walls or you know these kind of things well you have three-dimensional perspective very very handy to have the other one which is mask region tracker is basically if you wanna if you wanna like paintbrush over an area which is unformed you know it's not regular form like skins uh, like uh, for example your thigh or your shoulder or a bush or a shirt hanging here and you can just like paint over it and that will find it as a like a like a tracking thing um but i will go ahead choose a rectangle region tracker here and let's go ahead and start dragging a rectangle and it just to click and you don't have even have to hold it just go ahead and click on the lines here and i will use the the tile lines to keep the perspective right so i'll just keep like this and the line goes there, so we're keeping the perspective right, like this. And then you can also go just and modify the points if you're not satisfied with them. Then the area type, very important to have and you can't start tracking without it. It's very simple. There's two um, main ways how you can deal with this. One is, is a static area, so basically just the camera moves around the object you're tracking 
and the dynamic tracking area is basically when the object is moving and also the camera is moving. So I have a house and as far as I know my house is not going anywhere so I will use the static area. And then there's a bunch of advanced properties but I don't will I won't go dive into them. And then I will just hit start here and then you can see a progress bar uh, starts to progress the whole track here. And the good thing is when you start a track there wherever on the timeline it will apply a powerful track wherever and to the whole video clip. So it's pretty fast but I will let you know when this is done. So go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee and I'll see you guys in just a second. So let's see here, now the track has completed and left and we uh, there and if we go ahead and watch and scrub the timeline you can see a very perfect track here. You can see absolutely no flinching in the areas, it's perfectly tracked to where I wanted it to be and this is exactly what I want and this is exactly what people want when they track. Very simple and very very powerful. So Okay, this would not be um, an, an effect tutorial if I would not show and demonstrate what you can use this for. So, let's go ahead and add some, for example, some, um, some text layers here. So, I will go ahead and make a new composition. So, it has to be a composition. Remember that. So, and I will just call this um, example text, like this. And I can go ahead and click off the transparency so we, we can see what we're doing. Let's so go ahead and type in the text tool. And type in, for example, um, tutorial. Like this. And let's make the text shout us to us. So, and, sorry. And then we go ahead and change it back to your vector tool. And let's go ahead and find the align panel right there and let's go ahead and center the text so it's right in the middle. Now I gotta go ahead and scale this up so it takes the whole composition. Let's go ahead and center this up again. And then let's go back to our our track layer. Let's go ahead and find um example track somewhere here. Here's example track. Let's go ahead and select the fade in placeholder which is basically the blue, um, the blue solid here. And what should we do? Do we drop in the, uh, the comp and parent it with the pick whip tool? No, we can't do that because the fame placeholder is not a tracking data layer. It's not like a null object with tracking data. It's, uh, it's almost like a form of a pre-comp, but I have to like replace it with this comp to get the tracking data onto it. I'll show you. So I'll go ahead and drag this example text comp and click on Alt key and keep it down to the table. So hold the Alt key and release it on top of the fame placeholder. And then it will ask you that do you want to adjust the ratio uh, of that comp you put there so it matches the ratio of the, the blue box, which was the tracking data, or the composition. So if I go and hit no, it looks basically like this. And but you know you can pa and look what the the other option does. So here you can see it's perfectly tracked. It looks super beautiful, and I I can just get never enough of it. So this looks cool, but let's make it a bit more three dimensional. So don't click on the three D to like the. A 3D Elite layer. Don't do it because Fane won't recognize that as some um, as a workable effect, and that will do that. It will pop up here as two dimensional. It's not on the track anymore, and you can't undo back so it's staying on the wall. So you have to start the tracking all over again. I did th this a mistake a few times, but don't you as smart people do it? So let's make this 3D in another way. Let's go ahead to layer styles and finding uh, drop shadow. Okay, you might be wondering what the hell I'm doing. But let's go ahead and find the distance, make it a bit bigger there, and then let's add the angle so it's to the wall. Let's kick up the size a bit. Take down the opacity. 
maybe just like a tiny bit let's go ahead with 60 percent and let's take the distance back a bit and if we now we look at the scene it looks way more three-dimensional when it got some very realistic shadows onto it so I'm gonna take down the shadows just just tiniest bit more and this looks pretty cool and of course I can go ahead and make it to overlay to give it some other kind of look that looks pretty cool and another thing which is very very exciting is that if you go ahead and for example open a custom look so let's go ahead and lock this composition look here and double click on the the text layer here and then you just drag it to the side here and go back to the composition which is locked let's go ahead and take off the transparency here and let's select the text layer and change it so this is just a demonstration uh, you don't have to do the split view but I can show you what this does so this is perfectly dynamic so if you change the text here it will change automatically into the other comp so let's say I type in best or est estimated 2016 so this works so it's perfectly dynamic and it works every time so I could go ahead and close this uh, this view and open this up and let's go ahead and back to the composition here so this is actually pretty cool so very powerful and the track never fails like seriously 99% of the time my track never fails and then as you saw in the the original example I was using like three-dimensional graph not not three-dimensional just like two-dimensional graphics which is animated used solids text layers images you can put whatever you want to it also like an Im uh, like a video so here I have a text that says let's dance and then a guy just dancing on my wall I put this guy on them on the overlay blending mode to make it blend more with the wall and here I just um, use them also the overlay but and then you can for uh, of course you can go ahead and animate the text put images put videos you can go ahead create as like these social media hubs onto a wall wherever there's like a million ways how to like use this plugin if you want to like give tattoos to people if you want to change skin colors you know whatever you want it's very very powerful so hope you guys like this thing and if you want go ahead and check down in the description I have a link to their website go check it out go download the 30-day trial because I promise you it will be just worth it so play it around I would know you're gonna love it and yeah that was basically the after effects part thank you guys for watching this video project and I want to thank Fatech for helping me out with this one and if you did like it don't forget to hit that like button just below this video don't either forget to give me a comment in the comment section and hey if you want to see your video ideas and video suggestions become real episodes on my channel go to the first link down in the description it will take you to my form, fill it out, give me your wishes and if your suggestion, I will pick a random one, so if your suggestion becomes a real episode, I will give you in that video a specific personal and public shout out. So that's very cool, so get busy suggesting. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, a lot of stuff is coming up all the time, so make sure you don't miss on anything. My name is VK and I'll see you guys in the next video. I will wish you a phenomenal day.